Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the International Fab Talks. We are happy to connect with you and with our celebrities on various important topics, and we'd like you also to be one of our guests over here. Today, we are being joined by a very special celebrity and guest who loves to transform herself and the people around her. She is so lively. In spite of all the ups and downs in life, one has to emerge victorious. And here we have with us Miss Soumya Balaraman, who's joining us all the way from Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. She's an entrepreneur. Let's get to know more about her as to what is her journey and how she's overcoming all the challenges, how she could inspire you on this platform. Hello, ma'am, and welcome to the session, dear. Hello, good evening. Good evening, ma'am. Thank you so much for accepting the invitation to the International Fab Talks. It's my pleasure. Thank you yes, for the warm welcome. Thank you very much, ma'am. I shall go ahead and share your brief profile and then we'll get ahead with the interview. Yep. Yes, dear. Now, dear friends, it's always a joy and pleasure to share the profile of our celebrity and guest. Now, here we have with us Soumya, a young woman who's focused on bringing beauty into the lives of people around her and in her own life. Uh, she is known as the second gen entrepreneur who pretty much loves what she does. She keeps on working on her life and her life story and it's waiting to uh, make life happen in a very big way. She wants to you know, transform her life and the lives of others in a very big way. She has beautiful dreams like all other people like you and me. She is full of dreams and desires and waiting for that moment to make herself feel proud and to make the people who love her and around her feel loud and you know benefited by the work that she does so let's get to know about more about her journey and see how we could also get inspired join us please. dear ma'am i really like this that i'd like to fulfill my dreams i love to live life to the fullest i'm waiting for that great day to happen and you know you're waiting for that dream we all have dreams even i all of us so waiting to make nice. it happen <laughs> pardon waiting to make it happen make it happen it will happen Thank yes you. and yes dear and if it is international fab talks today i made it happen it i'm very happy thank you thank you for uh, the warm welcome and you know making me join and that can in some way i could benefit a lot of people around me thanks yes dear yes so here is a dream come true about the international fab talks that we connect with people across the world and people like ma'am soumya ma'am are here to share their journey dear ma'am I've shared about your journey in a brief way. Now, yeah. we'll, we are all really excited to know it directly from you. Who is the real Soumya? How would you explain her? Yeah, I was, you know, I started being naive. I didn't know what to actually do with life. I started that way. You know, everybody has that face. I didn't know what is actually going on because I was, I am an only child. So, yeah. So I have like, you know, I have a non-biological parents, like I said you earlier when I gave an intro. So, and also I have my biological parents, you know, I grew up with them and I grew up with a lot of, sib sib you know, I consider them siblings. I grew up with a lot of cousins. We have a big family, you know, it's like joint family types. So I grew up with them and I understood various uh, shades of people right from the start. So I was not in a nuclear family, like I said. So I had to see a lot of people and I am good with people, basically. At the same time, I have been a lone wolf, what do you call it? Uh, because you know you handle things you know you go out alone you don't even expect anybody to be there for you know be a, come along with you or something to even to any sort of restaurants or like cinemas or whatever it may be I have been somebody who just goes alone you that's that's one thing which is about me I have been fascinated about sports like cricket and basketball and you know I also like archery and stuff and all you know th these things people don't know because I am somebody who's like, who loves to do or something like an arcade game or whatever it may be. So yeah, and uh, and pretty much on pretty much everybody knows that she is someone. That's it. But she they don't know what actually I am. So yeah, and I think this is one thing, one open platform where I can convey that this is me and this is how I'll be. So yeah, that's really nice. A beautiful way to share about you, ma'am, about your journey. That's really nice. And I like this, you know, being very independent. Like I may go off to a restaurant alone, have something and come out. I could visit a cinema theater. I have that independence. Uh, you know, it, I don't need anybody with me to, you know, to give me their company. I am okay with my company. I'm a lone wolf. And at the same time, I love company as well at the right time, with the right kind of people. Yeah, that's true. Very true. 
that's really nice. I like that independence. And in fact, all of us should have that. You know, there are several people, several sisters and brothers out there who are scared to make it on their own, who are scared to, you know, spend time alone. But spending time alone is a gift you can give yourself yeah. to understand yourself better. Very As much. You understand a lot about yourself, first of all. In that journey, it's like it's going to be a lot of purging, what you call it in, you know, holistic way of improving yourself. So, yeah, that's how it is. Very true. And you've also mentioned this, that you have seen the shades of people, the many shades of people around you. Yep. Very true. And then when you see the many shades of people around you, you become more cautious, you become more careful, either not falling into the trap of their talk or backbiting. No, or actually, falling into the trap will actually happen. You get out of that. You learn and unlearn stuff. So if you, if you say that you just didn't fall into any sort of traps or emotional draining, you know, people emotionally drain you out or like people just push you to a fact that you feel unworthy of yourself. I have been through all that. So like everybody out there was facing the battle with people, you know, a lot of time, the one thing which disappoints you is people, the people who you believe sometimes. So yeah. I'm not, I'm not being very negative. It's just that I'm putting the fact across because this is very important. People must understand shit happens. So, yeah. Yes, dear. Very true. Now, do you remember what was the most stressful period in your life? Like from day one till date, the most stressful part of your life? Stressful part is like, you know, recently I lost two people, very important people in my life. Uh, uh, you know, you could see this, uh, you know, my mom, my dad passed away because he was in coma for more than, you know, a uh, uh, year. And uh, and after that, mom wasn't able to have, you know, live without dad. And she loves dad more than anybody else. And, uh, yeah. And she passed away due to separations and trauma and stuff. So uh, yeah. things have been pretty tight. And they're my non-biological parents. I grew up with them. So uh, like I said you earlier, you know, when we are having a little chat for the before the meeting. So, yeah, that's how it is. Yes, I understand the tragedy that you just faced. And uh, in spite of that, you are rebuilding your self-confidence and rebuilding your life again. That's wonderful. And we are with you, ma'am. You will really emerge victorious. That's Thank beautiful. you. means a lot. Yes. Dear ma'am, now let's come on to your entrepreneurial journey. What yeah. is this all about? As we've mentioned, you're the second gen entrepreneur. What is it about? Second gen entrepreneur means my dad was already into business, actually. He was into doing into construction and stuff. Then I was not, I was actually inspired being alone because I wanted to do something very independent. I even started as a worker, actually. I started, I worked for a few companies and then I pushed myself, you know, where, you know, a lot of uh, places doesn't give you the recognition you need. So it's just that it's your part to whether work again for that or like literally come out of that dysfunctional pattern and create your own path. So I am a person who likes to, you know, take the road not taken, which is which is very hard. At the same time, you know, there is ultimate satisfaction. I think I am satisfied about what I do. It's like, even though I, I face a lot of uh, frustration because, you know, you it, business can't happen. Just It's not a one-night wonder. So it will take a lot of time and it will take a lot of time to, first, you have to build yourself. Then again, some point it will destroy you. Then then you rebuild. And that's, that's a process. It's, it's a never-ending process. So it goes on. So I, I started my business strategy consulted company way back, uh, like way back, you know, six years back. And I was like very silently ever building that. I started with networking and stuff. I met a lot of people, got inspired by them. And I started doing, I started connecting with a lot of people. I, basically, I, that one quality in me, which is like, I'm good with people. I am like, I can just mingle with anybody to that matter. And I can be really, I can come for, uh, come a lot more nicer to people. You know, that's how it is. I know, uh, but uh, other part is that I just know where to draw the line. So that's all it is. So when it comes to business, it's business. When it comes emotionally, I don't get attached to anything. So yeah. That's really nice, ma'am. That's excellent. That's wonderful. Now, ma'am, what kind of business is this? What kind of uh, zone you are into? A uh, business strategy consultant, you know, when you want to increase the sales or you want to, you want to introduce the product or like you want to have a three-year plan or like whatever it may be, three months plan or six month plan or one year plan or like two or three. Two, they have a plan, you know, apart from we give ideas to implement that product and we just push it into the market. And that way you have a strategy for each and everything. Now, Without strategies, I think companies wouldn't work. 
so they allocate a lot of work so you be in that place of you take up that ownership of them for certain period of time or according to the contract and you start giving them what it is see it's not an easy job it's like it's like uh, people might think that you know it's a like easy money but it's not like that i have been without money i've been broke like like for more, at least 3 years so so when it uh, when it when it uh, when it starts hitting you know when it actually turns out fruitful you will understand the value of your hard work sometimes you know that's how that's how things in business it's not it's like it's it's not going to happen like one day people might think that to stabilize a business to establish a business it will take around at least 3 to 5 years and that 5 to 6 years you know 5 or 5th year and 6th year is going to be very important very crucial so that's how it is Yes, dear. That's really nice, ma'am, to share that. Thank you very much. When did you develop the interest to become an entrepreneur? I have wanted to become one. Actually, I didn't want. I, you know, everybody has this slam book which we use in school, where we write, you know, what do you want to become. Ah, uh, from that till now, it's been my dream. To I want to become a businesswoman. That's it. That's really nice to be independent and self reliant. Yes, then to work in different organizations and like you don't feel the satisfaction that you've done something there, and that is being appreciated also. So no, actually, that I even worked actually without working, you can't be a boss. Has to be a worker sometimes. He or she, he because he or she has to get a lot of information. We learn, then unlearn stuff. We make mistakes. We unlearn and we learn what the lesson we get out of it. So that's the process. It's like you know there is like. have you uh, have you read this book called you know uh, 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 business of the 21st century by robert kiyosaki somebody who committed suicide they had a very big uh, speculation going on so yeah in that uh, he has four quadrants you know from that employee quadrant self employed quadrant and business you know a uh, big business quadrant and investor quadrant so you know i have been in each and every quadrant so it's like my target is to become an investor so obviously i have to start by you know employee then be self employed then go to touch big business and then go to the investor section so it's there is a process anyway there is a graph there is a growth graph for everything to that man so yeah yes dear. thank you ma'am for sharing that thank you very much we'd like to know about your early childhood any incident that you remember which is very fresh in your memory were you the naughty one or the shy or the timid girl of the family uh i was actually on both the sides i can i can be naughty at the same time and i can be very silent so this is how it is mostly i'll be like you know a person who just and rebel uh, you know i'm not a rebel without a cause so yeah that's true that's because i didn't want to be silent i didn't want uh -huh. to but because i was but from uh, you know until one period of time i was actually naive i didn't know what is actually what then i understand that you know i was a person who doesn't even know how to smile so that's how i was i didn't know i i was very awkward with people and people will start i didn't have much friends when i had when i was a child you know so it's it's like that yes any that, incident about your childhood any incident i have unforgettable one unforgettable one is like when i won my first prize in writing so yeah that's it that's my first memory where like i was given uh, you know to write for a play from one part of mahabharatam like there is a thing called in tamil we call it kabadam so i named it as the i named that as the title for that play and i got the best uh, you know screenplay thing what class were you in i was actually you know 8 years old that time okay that's fun Yes. Did you have an encounter with any wild animal? Maybe a snake. It could be, or a, I mean, a, a, an animal like quite dangerous. Not a domestic animal. Ah, uh, this could be a very, uh, you know, a very serious question because my family don't didn't know all that. I actually had an encounter with a snake. Okay, cool. Oh, oh goodness. Ah, <laughs> uh, they didn't know. I did. If I this is actually the cat is out of the bag right now. So yeah, it's like it's going to be very surprising for them that I have encountered that such you know such an incident. At what age and where did you encounter that? I was around like twenty one, so that time. And then what happened? Did the cobra go away, or you tried to remove it out? No, actually, I didn't do anything. I was stunned. I was standing in the same place. It just went. 
it was actually when i went out for like you know i uh, i had to go along with my friends you know when we are outside and these people went away i was standing in the same place and i encountered this po- king cobra you know it's like it's i was so intimidated by that i stood in the same place so <laughs> that's that's the you know that's the that's something which i wouldn't even forget you know the way it looked it, it it's just you know it happened and you still can't forget that maybe that's how it is interesting one memory which i can't forget even if i am going to say it to my mom she is going to faint so yeah yes i get it i get it. yes dear now ma'am we all face stress when you also face stress like either it could be post professional stress or a personal stress at home stress at home now how did do you overcome that challenge sometimes i to be very honest let me tell you i have emotional breakdowns i break down every now and then because see uh, when things are very uh, see i can be strong at the same time i have my own stuff uh, you know i am a person if i have that emotional breakdown i think i'll just rebuild from that place if i'm going to bottle up each and everything inside me and i am not going to move forward rather i'm going to just run around the same bush so i what i do is either i'll have a mental break you know like literally emo, uh, i have an emotional breakdown i just break i cry i i literally you know i do that i'm not going to lie because because i can it's it's better to cry than literally bottling up it you know i want to be sometimes i want to be feel seen heard and appreciated at the same time like i like any other person out there you know if i think that is where people are lacking people are not able to appreciate any single effort people are not thankful for it see people are not going to show our gratitude see i have been in that space when you do something and they are not going to appreciate you i you feel like you know you are i felt that way when i was not able to love myself in the past i used to feel like you know i am not worthy and stuff i have been in that space so i got then i understood i started loving myself i started loving every ounce of my being and i i just looked at myself in a different way in that way drastically things improved and stress uh, to talk about it it's it's the worst thing in the world so it's like it's literally you know there are a lot of lives being taken on you know they they literally kill themselves and you know they that's that's when people need to be there at the end of the day this world starts with people and ends with people people must understand no matter what there must be somebody to take care of anybody out there so oh, yeah yes and you need to hear them you need to ans you know understand them there is see people it's not just what meets the eye it's much more than that yeah. yes yes yeah i agree with you ma'am and even i if when i am stressed out and i just sit in one place recollect everything that has hurt me and and then i cry a lot and then after 10 15 minutes back to normal done with everything and i'm perfect yeah. to then find ready for the next one <laughs> so uh, my I best think... stress reliever is like music i sing and i i literally you know listen i meditate i start writing affirmations and where i go wrong i literally start journaling my stuff journaling is something very important i guess uh, not not everybody has this you know not everybody has this uh, habit of journaling and stuff i do journaling i write and you know if i am uh, having in the get inspired by that that space where you are in you know even you are stressed still you can uh, you can get inspired by that and you can just move forward simple as that very true very true my dear friends journaling journaling is one of the best ways to de stress or and remove all the challenges that you have in your head put it down on pen and paper and relieve the stress that's in your head so that you you get a clarity also when you start Absolutely. journaling you have a good clarity yes and i have i have i've had i started maintaining my uh, diaries right from the age of 16 when i passed my 10th class my dad gave me the first diary as a gift when i passed my 10th class so from then on till date i have the habit of journaling that's very really nice i share that with you i could yeah that's the same thing that. you know even you say my diary you know you have a companion right there Yes. it's not going to talk to you rather it's going to help you out in some way and find solutions for whatever you want it's like people have this habit of writing diaries i think that is a one way where people can understand that where they went wrong or where they went right so they get it's like reminiscing all whatever you did over time you know down the lane you can just check it out 
yes dear. that's the best way actually that is actually called as journaling rather than writing it in a diary by writing it you know like you know generally write the date and stuff and then mark the time or whatever it may be hello can you hear me yes clear dear you can go ahead actually i have a human diary that is my best friend so i generally tell everything to her she knows each and every detail about me more than my parents so yeah and uh, you know uh, that's how it is yes dear thank you for sharing how would you want people to remember you how people should remember soumya ma'am more than being there on good times i want to be there in people's bad times you know that uh, if soumya is there then you know people must uh, i i think i will actually leave a mark by this way you know that's how it is yes dear have you traveled out of tamil nadu yes which state many abroad have done wow mm-hmm. could you share the names of the places you visited and anything that has really you know Uh, enchanted you and you really enjoyed my it. first international travel was actually to dubai i went alone first travel alone uh, you know i loved it because i started uh, getting to know a lot of people who are still friends with me now it's like i'm talking about 2017 times i just went alone that is all that was actually my first travel 2016 sorry So yeah, I was doing my MBA at that time, and and I just I just wanted to go, and my dad was like, "Please go and come, it's okay, fine." I started getting to know a lot of people in the plane, you know, in the in the journey. I got to meet a lot of people, you know. I'm somebody who's like I can't ever shut my mouth. If if somebody is next to me, I'm going to talk to them, or like literally, you know. Even after that. Uh, you know people might they be uh, you know it can come off as like annoying at the same time you know they call me after like few years even though i don't i forget them they call me and ask you are you spoke to me when i was actually not in a mind set to speak you spoke to me i don't know how did you know that and you made me talk you made me laugh the whole journey and i was like why are having fun with you and they are friends with me even now so that's how it is randomly i meet a lot of people you know that i talk to them i get to know them i have you know i have friends from you know not from this place you know i have friends in abroad too of where different languages i have a friend from spain sevilla uh, her name is sofia she's still there and she's like you know she's my friend even now so that's how it is yes that's really nice to share about friendship and i like the way you said this i can't keep my mouth shut it's like i need to talk to somebody if somebody is beside me i need to just <laughs> communicate and connect network with people bond with people i resonate very much with you because i am the same i can't just keep quiet if somebody is interesting i just get to know about them yes the journey becomes easier for us if that's true yes that's really nice and i'm i'm my friends all of you should also do that just don't wait for the other person to speak to you you could also initiate the conversation with the right kind of people yes dear Now, ma'am, what about movies? Which is your favorite one? Ah, uh, I love movies. I'm a movie buff, basically. And you know, I learned a lot from movies. You know, shades of people. Movies are one thing which can literally, you know, give go show you in and out about shades of people. So I love movies. I love watching it alone. You know, I, I told you, right? I go for movies alone. My mom will be like, "How could you even sit alone in a theater?" You know, I get a corner seat ticket, just go there and sit and watch the movie very peacefully. I'm very particular about this corner seat. I'll go there and sit alone. I will watch the entire movie and come back and be very happy about it. And I love my favorite director, this Mani Ratnam sir. So just like you know, and also other A's directors I can't name because ah, uh, you know, I know all the films. but you know i have been i have seen i have seen i like all the even the old movies you know my, the the movies which came out during my uh, the times my mom, mom was born so we used to watch movie together we three i mean my like my mom my biological mom dad you know we watched we love movies we literally spend time like that we don't we are not people who go uh, out often rather we just watch one uh, one movie now we have ott and stuff before we had all these dvds and stuff right so we love, from that till now we love watching movies my family as like my mom dad and myself are like perfect movie buffs 
and i learned a lot from cinema actually i learned a lot too you know i connect with a lot of people so that i could literally see that you know somewhere or the other there is a shadow of those people with the actual people you meet so yeah yes yes Really nice. Thank you for sharing. Thank What you. about cooking, ma'am? I love cooking, and I am a decent cook. I am decent cook. I, I, okay, I do it well actually. What's the favorite dish that you prepare? Ah, uh, mine is prawn pepper fry. Yeah. Do you miss having siblings? No, actually, I don't miss having siblings because there are a lot of people who took care of me, who literally pampered me. You know, my cousins. I don't call them cousins because I call them Anna, Akan, and you know all these people, younger sisters, everybody. No, there is no. I don't. I don't feel like I don't have a sibling because it's fine. I have a lot of brother, ah, brother and sister army. So yeah. Yes. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> yes. I'm not. I don't even feel a single. You know, I'm not going to feel for that. Yes, dear. Thank you for sharing, ma'am. Thank you. Sure. What is that one thing that you love about yourself? Just the way I am. And you're beautiful, just the way you are. I love the energy that you have. You. <laughs> That's really nice. Now, ma'am, with regard to a change in the world, what kind of change do you think should be there? Or the world is perfect, or you? Think that should be some change somewhere. Just be good to people and accept the way they are. Don't invest all your uh, desires on them. Just respect what are their desires and move on with them, rather than expecting a lot from the people who are actually working their progress. Yes, dear. Ma'am, recently I happened to meet one of the youngsters, aged between twenty twenty five. Okay. Between that age range. Uh -huh. yeah. he's gone through a breakup mm. and unable to come out of it and extremely depressed initially he was very attached to the girl and the girl also was attached to him but unfortunately i don't know what went wrong and they separated so now he's unable to overcome that and he has gone into depression now how do we you know face the situation like being a boy into depression or being a girl into depression in this case it's the boy so he said Ma'am, if you could get this answer to any of your celebrities on the platform, do you do that favor for me? So, if you could do that, it's, it, the question is from him. How should he come out from this? Just accept what it is. It is what it is. It's not going to change. When you have a breakup, it means that you literally are not on the same place. See, if you are in a relationship, you have to be in the same place with the other person. You, people must understand. at the end of the day you both are two different individuals you're not you see it's like you come together as one to share your happiness you have your separate happiness you have to be happy with yourself to be happy with somebody else you must understand this stuff there and you should accept people as what they are rather than expecting a lot from them you can't do that expectation is going to hurt you at the end of the day and you know basically you just accept them every ounce of them you have to love them for what they are no matter what i i i am a person who just accepts this is what it is so we have to literally you know if that person is going in the right and wrong path you just steer them to the right place that's it that's your job and you can't be literally you know saying that uh, they they have to change themselves please people evolve give some time teach them or like if you are in the process you teach you learn you unlearn we must understand this fact and people you know they have certain expectations i am pushed to a point where i am not expecting anything i am just going with the flow simple as that that's super and i am telling you because this this can hurt you right now but at the in the long run it is going to change to whomever you are asking you ask me this question the guy who asked you this tell him that this is this is not the end it's going to change and we must accept the change right now and though it is going to hurt right now and the future let me tell you is not going to regret perfect ma'am i really love the way you shared your wisdom with regard to this question like Thank you have least expectations from others right yeah. and let go and learn and unlearn and relearn again the best things that's okay. what yes dear now ma'am i'd like to put this question to you what are the dream projects that are still on your mind and you need to fulfill them what's on your bucket list i want to invest in a lot of brands create a lot of brands that's how, that's how it is yes dear 
I don't travel know. around the world. That is uh-huh. what travel around the world and take care of my parents. You know, they are like uh, they have done a lot for me, and you know, give it back to them in a very different way so that they could feel and. to my future partner or whom you know i have to take care of them not just them but also their parents and yeah to be with them and have a an happy life with that all without any sort of ego and stuff yes is that anything that angers you ma'am what anything that angers you ko uh, uh yeah it does uh, when you can't tell what it when you can't tell anything like it is what it is please don't even like it to me i will find out better stop you know refrain from you know talking saying anything any lie to me because i am not somebody who is a dumb person so i can easily find it out so pretty much i can you know i'll think ahead so better not uh, lie anything to me rather tell me the truth and walk away simple as that this is also i can put up with the truth not with the lie very true yes It's better to kill somebody with the truth than to yeah, save them with the truth. Because you just sugarcoat it, it's not going to happen. At the end of the day, the truth will actually come to the limelight. Then obviously you will lose relationship, or friendship, or any sort of so you know you know acquaintance. Yes, dear. Your favorite quotation, ma'am? Favorite quotation. I have a lot. I have to refer to my mobile because I have saved few. <laughs> I like all these from Rumi. You know what you seek is seeking you. Yes, dear. that that is actually if you want to become, you start seeking to that. You want you seek, you seek that so it seeks you back. It's that's how it works in the universe. You manifest it and universe gives it to you. But it will have a lot. You will have a lot of test. But you have to literally be that strong to go through all that test. You know that's how it is. Yes, dear. Ma'am, do you love pets too? I do have one actually. It's What's that? <laughs> It's her name is Pons, P O N D S, and uh, she is like the you know princess of the family. Uh, is she, she around you? Friends. Is she around you? Ah uh, no, she is not. She is in the other house. So yeah, <laughs> she is she is in the other house with my parents. I told you right. I live along with my non-biological parents, so it's like she is there. Ah, uh, you know, she is very close to me and stuff. She is the naughtiest, hyperactive. and she is pampered like hell in my family they take care of her it's a very big family and you know she gets what she wants simple as that that's it done and uh, she's like you know uh, she's like the uh, light to our uh, she came like a light in our gloomy days you know there is like light at the end of the tunnel like guys we had her like one one uh, you know sunshine yes dear. yes dear. Yeah. I do want to get a lot of dogs, but my parents are not going to allow. They told that after you get married, you can just have it with them. Yes, ma'am, I get that. Now, ma'am, let's talk about mental health. Yeah, please. How far do you think people in India and across the world have given importance to mental health first in the family? Because first in the family, that people have to understand that you give them some time of processing stuff. People let don't let anybody process their stuff. you know they people must yes dear and people have their own space try to retrieve them out of that space hello yes dear i can so that's how it is and people must understand you know when people go through a very bad time one of the member in the family is going through a very bad time people must be very attentive enough rather than you know just letting them do be suffer suffering is very personal is what they call but at the same time you have to be there you have to be there uh, you know that's why people feel like you know feel all alone there must be somebody you know to tell them that you are not in this alone we are in this together so i have been practicing that all my life yes dear i don't like anybody you know dull or like it's okay it's, uh, they they have going through that at least i'll be there no matter whether they push me away i'm going to be there that's it that's it now ma'am if you were given a chance to relive somebody's life and return back whose life you'd love to relive 
uh, my non biological parent you see that the dad ups are there in that photo i want to live his life i have never seen somebody like that <laughs> i want to live his life just the way he created his own stuff from the scratch so i get inspired by his journey so yeah That's and her i want to live like her amma you know she was an amazing daughter she was an amazing uh, uh, sibling she was an amazing daughter uh, daughter in law and she was an amazing amazingly amazing wife and a friend to my dad so yeah if i am at least 50 percentage of what she is to my future partner and his family definitely i'll be in a better state i will literally live my life to the fullest with my partner and partner's family that's serious if you were to receive a super part or be gifted be gift uh, if i uh, let me put it in the right way i'm stuck up for words now if you meet the almighty or the universal energy comes forward to give you a boon in the form of a super part what kind of a super power would you select i want them to resurrect that's what i will ask because they haven't even seen me start living my life so i want them badly i want them both badly in my life so i if there is a you know in single bone i want the both of them my life back you know back alive so yeah that's how it is that's really nice dear you really love them so much right i ah, i do because you know it's like parents have given birth to me they also love me but they loved me more than anything they didn't have kids they loved every kid in the family around they literally are people you won't even believe what they have done they took care of me you know not just like a princess but they literally you know treated me like a queen they let me live my life they made me they let me you know they just told that your life is in your hands make it or break it that's it this is what they say let's get in nice yes dear. yes dear. now ma'am uh, with regard to forgiving people in our lives there are several people who might have hurt us knowingly and unknowingly too so what is your take on forgiveness forgiveness uh, i'm not able to forget but i have already forgiven a lot of people so yeah yeah i also literally seek forgiveness sometimes because un, you know unknowingly i might have done a lot of stuff see i i'm not i don't believe in uh, human without mistakes human actually makes mistakes but better learning or learning a lesson out of that mistake and moving forward is quite important realizing and rectifying and actually retrieving yourself will make it happen so, yeah yes dear thank you ma'am for sharing all your thoughts and views with regard to life there are several other questions that i have for you and i'm sure you will share your time once again with us on the international oh. fab talks thank you thank you so much for the opportunity and and like i'm very much glad that yes. i was here in the session and uh, thank you so much means yes dear before we end we have another 5 minute session called as the rapid fire round which will take just 5 minutes from you may no i go problem. ahead no problem please go ahead yes dear it would be about your likes and dislikes oh yeah please Your favorite breakfast? Uh dosas. Your favorite month? My birth month January and July. Okay. Jan what date? 7th. Okay, that's really nice. We could wish you on your birthday and you said Thank July. You. Yes. Is it specific in July? A lot of people who my who are my favorites are born in July so yeah. That's wonderful. Your favorite day of the week? Favorite day of the week uh, uh it's like uh it's actually monday did you regret buying something some article or address or some type of uh you know um, a materialistic thing and then you went oh why did i buy it? did you regret buying oh, i don't regret buying stuff okay because usually we women we buy certain things like i said <laughs> why did you buy i don't it? regret buying stuff i am not somebody who is uh, you know spendthrift so yeah oh, great that's really good that's nice Now, I rarely I rarely am a spend trip it's just that you know I don't regret anything anything to that matter yes dear do you believe in second chance ma'am only if that person is going to you know uh, that person or like any situation or like I I actually you know I am done with giving chances so if you ask me for a second chance I'm going to say no because I don't want to put myself into that dysfunctional pattern again 
Yes, dear. Your favorite snack, ma'am? Favorite snack? Uh, <laughs> chocolates. Is it comfort or style? Which? Comfort or style? Both. Your favorite kind of music? Anything. Anything. I listen to everything. So, yeah. I, I also sing. I was actually trained for as a singer for more than like 10 years. So, yeah. Is it texting or calling? Where do you feel comfortable? Both. Tea or coffee? Or else like in-person kind of a person. More than just talking. If I am very interested in a person, I'd rather go and meet them. That's it. Yes. That's really nice to elaborate and explain. Thank you. Is it tea or coffee? Coffee. But yeah. I have this weakness for the Sulaimani chai, which is actually Kerala's favorite. So, yeah. Would you repeat that please for us again? Sulaimani. Sulaimani. Sulaimani is one of the best chais which you get in Calicut. Oh, great. That's really nice. Yeah. So, that's something new to me. So, thank you for introducing that on this platform. You can get it in Chai Kings or Chai Wale, which you have there. You know? <laughs> yes, dear. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Now, you've been called as Soumya. Is there any other nickname that people call you with love or a pet name? My parents call me Soumya and stuff. People call me. Few other people who doesn't want to say the whole name. Who is, and, and who is you know, Soumya is an actually, you know, repetitive name. It's not It's not very rare. So, people call me Sou. That's it. Done. Yes, dear. A beautiful day or a perfect day, how would you describe it just in one word? Beautiful day, perfect day is just that, you know, having a course, you know, like I like uh, to watch a movie. I like to be in my pajamas. I have to, I want to watch, a, you know, nice rom-com and sit or any perfect series like Friends or like anything, anything which actually I love along with my people who actually has the same interest and have a nice, you know, nice home cooked food or like or, or uh, ordering, taking out from some other place. Like, that's how it is. That's my perfect day, actually. Yes, dear. You love the summer, winter, autumn or spring season? Rainy season as well. Winter and rain. Yes, your favorite I love rain. transport? Yes, dear. I love rain. Yes. Yes. Rainy season. And I'd like to repeat this question once more. Your favorite mode of transport? Uh, I actually, you know, I like both. Uh, I like can drive a bike, like scooter, like Vespa, like, and I also I love driving car. Yes, dear. You love ice creams too. I do. <laughs> you Your want favorite it. flavor? Uh blackcurrant. The name of your favorite teacher when you were in school? A favorite teacher I would call, uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> I have a lot of favorite teachers. I'll call my kindergarten teacher, Maithili. And also my principal, Sita Ramakrishnan, ma'am. Like, I mean, I studied in two different schools. And like in the first school, there was a principal called Sita Ramakrishnan. So I love her a lot. Even now I go to her and she's going to make me a cup of coffee. And there she lives nearby. So I go to her and uh, go to her house and she's going to, you know, Literally treat me the same way she saw uh, the first time, you know. That's how it is. Oh, sweet. That's really nice. And you're lucky too. Yes? Yeah. Yes, dear. Now, dear ma'am, life is all about money or happiness. See, money is essential. That is a different story. Uh, happiness is all about, you know, it starts within you. If you're happy, able to happy, be happy with yourself, I think no matter what life throws at you, you're going to be happy. You're going to get frustrated. I'm not going to say that you will be always happy, smiling and stuff. It's not going to happen that way. You are going to literally, you know, look at yourself feeling unworthy and then coming back stronger is what is important. And life is like that. See, no matter what life to, throws at you, still keep loving it. One point, it has to give all the love you gave. That's it. Yes, dear. Now, ma'am, when you're all alone, where do your thoughts take you? Uh, all alone. Uh, Past, present or future? I don't uh, really think about anything regarding past, present or future. But I reflect, 
presently when i am stuck or something like that it is going to literally you know i'll be running through what mistakes i made obviously it will happen so i'll be i will divert it by what doing something which is which is like writing or something or like watching something or like listening to music and stuff so i, I just don't keep everything very too much occupied sometimes if i am pre if sorry if i'm actually preoccupied i'm going to be very silent yes dear your favorite flower favorite flower tulip favorite color uh black what makes you smile seeing other people smile and happy any weakness any weakness chocolates oh wow you want to give a message to the entire world just be the way you are that's it yes dear thank you so much ma'am i really had a wonderful time with you i really like the energy that you have within you it was yeah, really transparent uh, there was not no like you know thing that you kept like in front of us like that, that you didn't shield anything you know just were, were an open open book very expressive and very transparent <laughs> this is the authentic me i told you i can't say that i'll be able to even tell you even if you're going to throw a question which is going to be very controversial i don't care yes dear. we like people who are very honest and transparent yes yes dear that's really nice we look forward to many more interactions with you sure stay blessed thank you so much thank you thank you dear stay thank blessed ma'am stay blessed thank you you too thank you my uh, dear friends bye bye ma'am my dear friends with this we come to an end to the international fab talks for today we'd like you to learn how to be happy we'd like you to learn how to be an inspiration to others no matter what comes in life the message today is be yourself you know take on life as it comes do not be you know regretting what happens in your life have a happy life and share this beautiful video if you think it's useful to be shared with others do share it and have a wonderful time if you like what we are doing at the international fab talks connect with us on internationalfabtalks@gmail.com or you could like subscribe share and comment on the videos that we share stay blessed and stay connected if any of you would like to join us on our sessions for any of the interviews or a talk show you're most welcome to share your thoughts views with all of us stay safe